Hello, hello, artists. Uh, this is Marianne here uh, in my art studio. Welcome. Um, today we are going to uh, learn how to draw a very colorful owl. It's going to look something like this. It's a very artistic, creative owl. And as you can see, um, it has all basic shapes. We have like triangle shapes for the ears, we have circles for the eyes, we have ovals for the mask, um, we have rectangles for the beak, uh, and the inside the feathers um, and the design are gonna be up to you. So they're all gonna vary. Uh, before we jump into um, the project, I have a special guest that would like to share a joke with you. Why, hello there, artist. This is Mr. Dolly Doggy. I have a very sophisticated joke for you. Are you ready? All right, here it is. How do artists greet one another? Ha, huh, well, let me tell you. They say, yellow, 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 yellow. <laughs> Got it? <laughs> yellow. Yellow. Huh. <laughs> Tell you, his jokes are just belly busters and knee slappers. All right, so let's start making some art. All right, so let's begin. The materials needed is a piece of paper, white drawing paper, a pencil, and when you're finished drawing the owl, we're going to decorate it using crayons. Um, and if you have it at home, some watercolors. Um, if you don't have the watercolors, no worries. Crayons or markers work well too. All right, so let's get going with our owl. Um, I'm going to start off with the owl's ears up top. So we know, kind of have a reference of how big the owl is going to be. Notice that I'm going to fill my page with the owl. I'm not going to make a tiny, little, tiny one. Um, if I wanted to make a little, tiny owl, I'd probably use a very small piece of paper. But because I have a fairly big piece of paper, I'm going to fill this up with an awesome, colorful owl. So here we go. So I'm going to just start off with a triangle shape up at the top over here. And then I'm going to do another triangle shape on this side. And notice they're kind of bending over to the corners. So we're gonna connect these two lines like that. Okay, next I'm going to draw the owl's eye. I'm gonna make a very big eye because as, as you've probably heard, owls have excellent eyesight. So we have very big eyes, circles, and then I'm gonna start making its pupil. So mine is gonna be pretty big like that. And I'm gonna do another one over here. So they're kind of matching. And then I'm also gonna do another, almost a full circle, but it's cut off a little bit here. Yeah pretty much a circle right there. So we have three circles inside of each other. And when we color this in, it'll look a little bit more like an owl. All right, so now that we have this, I'm now going to make the mask around the owl. And I'm going to just go like this. I'm just gonna dip it in a little bit right there. Kind of like, it almost looks like an open book or a bird in the sky or a flattened out V. So there is a flattened out V, and I'm just gonna bring it around like that. And that's gonna be the owl's mask. Now, we're missing something. We're missing his beak. In between the eyes, almost towards the bottom of them, we are going to draw, let's see, something like this. You could just do a triangle if you want. Um, if you want to just make a triangle, you could. If you wanted to make uh, two triangles on top of each other, you could. Whatever makes you happy. 
All right, so now it's starting to look like an owl. Uh, we're going to extend the side of the head, and I'm just going to bring it on into the mask like that. So now we have our owl's face. Now, I filled up almost half of the page with just its head. The rest of the page is going to have to be its body. So, coming from the side um, of the owl's head, I'm going to do a line down here. And this line over here is going to be a li little different. I'm going to make the owl's tail come off to the side. So his head's being turned. That will make more sense in a moment. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm just going to draw kind of his tail feathers right there. And then I'm going to connect this up like that. All righty. Uh, this looks pretty good so far. Kind of looks like an owl. All right, now we're going to add a wing to the side. So that's supposed to be his tail feather. You know what? Let's see. I think I'm going to erase that little mark and kind of have it go like that. So for the wing here, it's just going to be like an upside down U. And then it's going to kind of have these little feathers come off it like that. Now at the bottom here, I'm going to add his feet. So try to remember to leave a little space down here uh, for his feet. I'm going to add a little where his legs come out. And then I'm going to do three little claws. I like little curved triangles coming down. This one here looks a little weird, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to decorate his belly. Uh, later, I'm going to use the crayons, and we're going to do a watercolor resist. You remember what that is. The wax in the crayons um, resists the pigment in the watercolor. So anything that you do with crayons, especially if you press really hard, will shine through the watercolor. It's called a crayon or wax resist. Okay, so there is uh, the beginning of our owl, and now I'm going to go and color it. So I'm going to use a black crayon, and I'm going to outline um, all the lines I just did. Um, at school, I usually call, call it ink it. Um, so, but I'm going to use a, a black crayon, so when I watercolor it, the um, wax resist will show through. So I'm going to press pretty hard. I'm going to go over all my lines. There. Voila. This right here, I'm actually going to use different colors. Ah, I did it again. I pressed so hard. Uh, you know what? I always did that when I was a kid, not on purpose. I just always pressed so hard with my crayons. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm still a kid at heart. <laughs> All right, there we go. And now I'm going to watercolor the rest. You can add any other designs if you, in here. You could put little polka dots on them or her. I'm just going to add little polka dots all over. Let's see. I'm going to do different, different size dots. Let's see, I'm gonna do little zigzags for the wing here. And the rest I'm gonna use watercolor. Alrighty, so you 
are going to color your owl any way you seem fit. I'm going to use a little purple here. You use any colors you want though. See how it's resisting the crayon. It, the watercolor goes right on around it. We're doing mine a little bit magenta and a little bit of orange. Thought that would be kind of a fun combination of colors. <laughs> Now for your background, you can do anything you want. Uh, you can make it super colorful. You can make it um, black. Ooh, you know what could be kind of fun? If I took a white crayon, and this is just, you do whatever you want. But I'm gonna draw, oh, I did it again. Three times I accidentally broke my crayons. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put little circles back here. Oh, and little stars. I'm just gonna do these little uh, five line stars. We'll see them in a moment. So it doesn't look like I'm doing anything now, but I think kiddos, you know my little trick. Let's see. Now watch what happens. Do a little bit of black, a little bit of dark purple. Mix the dark purple and black together. There, you can start seeing all the lines I just did with the white crayon. I love wax resist. Also notice that I have fairly a lot of a water, a good amount of water on my brush. Um, I don't want um, to make dry marks like like that. If, if any of your art starts looking like this and you could start seeing the brush strokes. Let me zoom in here a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. When it starts looking kind of like brushy like that, it means that um, you need uh, more water. It should, watercolor should flow like that. And you don't also don't want it too, too wet either because then it'll drip all down your paper and get your paper overly saturated. And you don't want that either. So it's finding that right balance. Let me go back up. Okay. I'm just going back and forth between black and purple. Being careful not to go over my owl. Go there, voila. So there you have it. That's how you um, make an artsy owl. All right, so if you have any questions, please, please, please uh, don't hesitate to have someone email me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, which is pretty much right away. <laughs> and um, I look forward to seeing all your creations. Uh, don't forget to think out of the box. It's okay to make your owl multicolored or rainbow or anything you want. I can't wait to see what you end up creating. And I look forward to seeing all your wonderful smiling faces next time during our live class. Until then, everyone, Happy arting, and I miss you, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Wait a minute. Is that it? Class is over? Aw, oh, man. Aw.